Hello and welcome to some EverQuest news for October 2024. Uh, there's a there's a little there's a little bit of news. So uh, the new expansion pre-orders out. Uh, we got a producer's letter, and uh, I will go over the expansion stuff. So uh, it's, uh, early this month. <laughs> The producer letter came out. I was going to make a video earlier, uh, but I didn't. And uh, let's kind of go over that. So they talk about what they've completed this year. So things we've already seen. The year of the Dark Paw anniversary stuff has been going on every month. Uh, so that's there. They demerged some servers. Uh, all the events returned. Everything's been going great. Uh, they did a Burning Lands items marketplace sale in August with the same tower stuff. Uh, Lorian's song was 25% off until I believe yesterday. And then uh, today they, the new expansion comes out uh, for pre-order. They upgraded the forums and stuff like that also. Uh, upcoming for the next three months of the year. For the next three months of the year, they are, there is going to be... a uh, a tower event it looks like for every day and let's see here in october the pre-order opened so that's what has already happened knights of the dead will return here for october that's the halloween event and then let's see here what is going to happen in november champions festival this is the everquest 2 kind of synergy where you get a free uh transmog i believe uh, ornamentation, I believe that's what you get last year. I don't know what it'll be this year, but uh, definitely worth doing whatever that is to get that if you like it. Uh, in November is Extra Life Game Day, which is the uh, fundraising event that the EverQuest team does every year. And uh, there will also be a event in game for EverQuest 1 and EverQuest 2 that will provide a bonuses based on the fundraising event i've covered that in other videos but if you want to read the news yourself uh it's like one of these right here oh we know it's surprise uh we have something exciting yeah here it is and uh the events it goes over here the bonuses and you know what tiers you need to make to uh, get that stuff so uh raid 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 comes back and uh thanksgiving fest will come back uh, that will be uh, November. In December, we'll have another uh, monthly <laughs> Year of the Dark Paw. And then uh, the 31st expansion will launch. Uh, the Christmas and New Year's event will come back. And uh, they're also working on uh, new UI stuff, anti-cheat improvements, and server imp uh, performance improvements. And then uh, there's a teaser down here about... Uh, the new new expansion, Outer Brood. Uh, see here, in the skies, hills over the long ignored hoodstock looms. A massive behemoth, a creature so large it appears to have an entire city on its back. All right, it's like a flying turtle. Uh, <laughs> terrifying monsters fly down from that city. Beasts that have never been seen in Norath before. Where have they come from, and what could it possibly want? Uh, let's see here. I uh, see North has faced assault, dragon like creatures, and uh, stuff. So, this is a nice little teaser that came out on October 2nd. And then uh, today, the pre order's up. Uh, and let's just take a moment to admire this image here, right? This is, I'm going to use this on my thumbnail, but this is a nice image. I like, this is like EverQuest 2 style art. Um, I really appreciate it. There, you can see the, uh, the flying Leviathan right there, which. <laughs> is a giant dragon how we how we haven't seen this in 31 years i don't know or 31 expansions but uh there he is and it looks like there's a giant castle on top very nice very cool and you can see like there's some dwarves and some uh you know just fun stuff going on this is a very nice picture i like it a lot uh but we can kind of go into this one here so if you pre-order the expansion you're gonna get one of these uh ornamentations right here the azure scale rot Weapon ornamentations. Uh, I believe it's like two, and then you can switch it between any of these things, right? So you can uh, uh, like click on it and change it to a different item, you know, whatever it is like that. The beta is also opening up, so if you pre-order it, 
how you get access to the beta and uh, whatnot. Let's see here, the skies above Norath will be buzzing with action. You will need to aid prior enemies and help save the lands you know <laughs> as you know them. Uh, will you answer the call when it is sounded? So what is what does this expansion have, right? So the beta is going to have six expansion zones. Oh, you can check out the beta today. So I got to buy this and do that. So we'll do that. So six expansion zones. Explore the area lost between Freeport and Nectalos. Then fly to a Levi Leviathan so large that the dragons built a city on top of it. All right, hold on. Let me get a tab. And uh, let's see, EQ2 map, right? So this is EQ1, right? But... Uh, EverQuest 2 has a, an expanded Nectalus area, right? So let me just see if I can pull this up without showing something on here. All right, da, 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 da. Where is it? Nectalus Forest, Cauldron Hollow. Yeah, here's like one of the maps, right? Uh, so this is the, the EverQuest 2 version. So there, this like Soul Eater Falls and then like Lava Storm right there. Uh, there's some there's some potential from zones there. Like I'm I'm gonna have to get into the beta and see before I speculate anymore. Uh, there's gonna be new raids, quests, collections, and missions. New spells, combat abilities, and AAs. New race class combination: Dark Elf Ranger. For the first time, Dark Elves can be Rangers. Uh, this is cool. Now, <laughs> uh, there's something I noticed that I just want to make sure I pointed out. Before someone gets too excited about that uh d -d -d word where i see it at here yeah uh available on progression servers once the outer brood opens so you can't make a brand new classic tlp character that is a dark elf ranger so just keep that in mind <laughs> temper your expectations if that was something you thought uh but wood elf is probably still gonna be the best uh, Ranger class, you're going to want to get a Dark Elf mask anyway. Tr trivial to get in the game. Activated items, key rings. So they're going to be... So like every year there's some kind of like a special feature they add. And this is a key ring that holds activated items. Now, what would be an activated item? Um, the Unity, Unity's uh, Phoenix Feather, right? That's an activated item. Put that in there. That's one less inventory slot you're wasting. Uh, on that, um, see, like, click, like, there's some picnic clickies that I summon things. I'm sure those can go in there. And, uh, other items like that. So it's kind of nice, actually, to, like, be able to move all that stuff into a separate, uh, inventory. I was really hoping they would do some kind of, uh, persona, uh, helper. <laughs> you know, something to, like, make it so you can purchase visible slots per persona or just give each persona that you create its own visible slot like hidden inventory i don't know something to help with personas i think that would be something i would have i would have wanted personally but oh, there we go so the beta reward a paper bag hat ornament this rogue and transfer hat you wish so i guess if you go onto the beta and participate in beta events uh, you can purchase or you can pick up this hat and trust me i want that hat so i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna sure i didn't get that uh but you can see here this is uh this uh this uh, this, is, this looks so awesome now if we go to the expansion page itself uh there's a little bit more uh information uh so we already read that huge reptiles with massive deadly claws fangs and too many limbs these beasts wield magic never seen on norath nor by any norathian these creatures dubbed the outer brood by the elders of the circle of the crystal wing speak a form of elder dragon that even the eldest of the oldest <laughs> dragons barely understand at first, they seem to have come to parlay with dragons of Norath, but conversation quickly turned into contempt, and there seems no stopping the battles to come. A horde of powerful creatures prepared to assault Norath to cleanse the world of what their herald calls a clear fa failure to follow scripture. All right. Norath has faced assault before, but this time the foe is different. 
Some far seers have spotted what only can be dragons around the great Leviathan as it floats atop the top of the sky. Beings so large that a few elder Norathian dragons would stand above their knees. All, jeez, that is a giant ass dragon. All around the massive Leviathan flows a force that defies the understanding of any magic user of Norath with power exceeding anything they have ever seen before. Norathians of all types of mortal and dragon banded together to face this unknown power and attempt to drive them back to where they came from. Can you lead the charge against such danger? One that has caused even the fiercest elders of the dragon clans to hesitate. All right, so this is a non-level expansion. So this is a 125 expansion. So everything builds upon that. Uh, see, there's going to be six zones between Freeport and Nectalos. So that'll be nice. And then a large Leviathan zone, I guess. So that's five zones plus the Leviathan zone, castle, temple thing, whatever that is. I'm assuming it's going to be a mostly a raid mission zone with some open world killing. Uh, so large, the dragons build a castle on it, right? It's, it's huge. So, you know, new raids, missions, all that stuff. Oh, uh, we already went over that. All right. So here's the uh, cost, same as the cost as last year. Uh, $249 for the friends and family edition, uh, premium uh 139 and collectors 69 standard a 34. uh what do you get here so if you buy the standard edition you don't get anything except for the pre-order item <laughs> now if you buy the collector's edition you're going to get the contract of the sky guard which will give you a sky guard mercenary uh, that is available once the Seeds of Destruction uh, expansion opens up. And if we click this, yeah, no sound. Uh, it's a flying uh, four-winged dragon. Kind of cool. All right. Now, let's see here. This is the personal teleporter for instant travel to Hodstock Hills. Available on progression servers once... Uh, out of brood open. So this is the personal clicky teleporting te teleportation item. And uh, this is the, gr you know, the pl placeable one, right? You can place this in your guild hall or your house and it will let you teleport there. Uh, they usually have kind of a cool graphic, like <laughs> look how cool this thing looks. <laughs> uh, that's, that's badass, right? Four winged dragon, man. Who would have thought? Uh, so they get the collector's edition. You can pick those up. All the other editions get those too. So if you pre-order, uh, you obviously get one of those weapons that I talked about. If you you also if you get the collector edition above, you get go, uh, goblets of adventure three, which are fifty percent experience potions for what is that four hours? So you know, really good experience out of that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you you also get the painting if you pre-order collector as collectors right collectors and above. Uh, the paintings available house of thule now uh there are bags so if you buy the collector's edition you get one uh the premium edition you get two bags and the uh, friends and family gets three bags and it's a 42 slot bag you can never have enough space that is so true uh and then each of the editions also gets a uh a new mount. What does this thing look like here? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Six arms. Look at this. Two, two like legs. And then these like Tyrannosaurus Rex, like little, little arms. I was making this like weird thing, but I don't have, I don't have my camera. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Uh, then you get a, uh, you get a, a metamorph. Turn your pet into the same thing. I'm assuming, right? Let me look at here. Yeah, look at this guy. He just has no saddle. Look at that thing. Look at that. That is just fantastic. All right. That's fantastic. I'm excited. I am very excited. Let's see here. Activated uh, key ring slots. So uh, if you buy the collector's edition, you get six, 12 for the other two editions. Uh, you also get 10 perfect augment distillers on the premium and collector's. 
Uh, the premium collectors have uh, a bunch of shared goblets of adventure. These are 50% uh, experience bonus group. It's a group buff for four hours. So uh, if you're boxing uh, or you're playing with friends, you pop one of these, everybody in the group gets some experience. Uh, let's see here. This is a Leviathan calf mount. So this is uh, available once Shadows of Luckland opens up. And you can see there, this is a pretty cool mount. It's like a flying manatee kind of looking thing. I don't know. Pretty nice. Not as cool as the other one. I gotta admit. I gotta admit. The other one looks cooler. Uh, let's see here. There is a another pet change. Wow, that is a... Oh, that is an evil eye with a lot of wings. <laughs> that is so cool. All right. And then <laughs> there's a chalet. All right. Wow. So... I guess you can get a house. Looks like uh, this. Let's kind of click through here. Oh, this is just everything that's in the expansion. Uh, so there's a chalet. You get a three room house available on progression servers. Once uh, House of the Will opens, that is uh, premium and uh, friends and family. And then exclusive to the friends and family, you get tradable versions of a lot of these things. Now, uh, the tradable means you can sell it for chrono. Like at least like the expansions usually go for like three to five chrono on most servers. Uh, and you do usually get a tradable expansion. Yeah, right here, tradable the outer brood. Uh, so things like that. If you want to, you know, get a little in-game currency when you do this, tradable 100 heroic, tradable uh, mounts, and tradable key ring stuff, agent packs, and uh, loot crates. Uh, so that's all the different stuff that's available uh, in the expansion. Obviously, buy what is it good for you if you're going to buy it. Uh, it looks exciting to me. I'm going to buy. It. I'm going to have to buy it just to get into beta. <laughs> so we'll have to try that out and see where that's going. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's going somewhere good. But uh, let's go over here to the last news that we got. Uh, this is just another reminder. I like to remind because I got some. Some someone gave me some guilt for not mentioning. Some of these experience bonuses and stuff going on and uh this isn't even the right one <laughs> so i didn't even open the right one here let me find it again uh let's see here there's an experience bonus talk like a pirate day no it's currently going on right now i guess they changed it or got rid of it oh there it is leaves will fall uh so today is uh, october 8th and the bonus 50 percent experience bonus is going on for the next little bit so just a reminder on that so make sure you are uh, leveling up if you are 125 and max aa uh you're gonna be good to go for the new expansion and then uh you know bank whatever 200 or something aas you need for the next one and uh you're ready to go so uh yeah i think that's everything that's like is uh it's gonna be a good expansion i think i i'm really excited uh, this is something like the like it's doesn't seem like it's something they've done <laughs> like the last few expansions like glory and song wasn't but like the last few you know they were like Velius again and Lucklin again so this looks totally new uh, but it could be related to uh, the dragons and war expansion so I don't know yet uh, but thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day